A very good morning to all of you. Today, we are going to discuss about the different body languages during the presentations. Specifically, we are going to discuss six ways to look more confident during your presentation because your body language plays a very, very important role in the success of your presentations. We will be discussing according to the finding of center of body language. At the center of body language, they have studied successful leaders across a range of fields and identified several positions which are indicators of effective and persuasive body languages. So let us check one by one. Number one, the box. Early in Bill Clinton's political career, he would punctuate his speeches with big wide gestures that made him appear untrustworthy. To help him keep his body language under control, his advisors taught him to imagine a box in front of his chest and belly and contain his hand movement within it. Since then, the Clinton box has become a popular term in the field. Number two, holding the ball. Gesturing as if you were holding a basketball between your hands is an indicator of confidence and control as if you almost literally have the facts at your fingertips. Steve Jobs frequently used this position in his speeches. Next one, pyramid hands. When people are nervous, their hands often flit about and fidget. When they are confident, they are still. One way to accomplish that is to clasp both hands together in a relaxed pyramid mode. Many business executives employ this gesture. Though be aware of overuse or pairing it with domineering or arrogant facial expressions, the idea is to show you are relaxed, not smug. Next one, wide stance. How people stand is a strong indicator of their mindset. When you stand in this strong and steady position with your feet about a shoulder width apart, it signals that you feel in control. Next one, palms up. This gesture indicate openness and honesty. Ultra makes strong use of this during her speeches. She is powerful, influential figure, but also appears willing to connect sincerely with the people she is speaking to, be it one person or a crowd of thousands. Next one, pumps down. The opposite movement can be viewed positively too. That is pumps down as a sign of strength, authority, and assertiveness. Barack Obama has often used it to calm a crowd right after moments of rousing oration. So next time you give a presentation, try to have it recorded. Then review the video with the sound off, watching only your body language. How did you stand and gesture? Did you see any of this position? If not, think about how you might do so in the next time you are in front of an audience or even just speaking to your boss or a big client. Practice in front of a mirror, then with friends until they feel natural. So that's all for today. We'll be coming back shortly with some more interesting content. Till then, stay home, stay safe.